Hey guys, well, Brandon back here again for March 2024's Horror Pack. Yes, today is Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. And, uh, yeah, it's really late. It's about a little after 1030 at night, so, yeah, I'm getting really late on this, but hopefully we'll have it up before midnight. Yeah. So let's get right into it and see what all Horror Pack has brought us for this month. Alright. Okay, we're going to reach into the pack first and we pull out. Oh, cool. We got Devin Sawa from the Chucky TV show. Um, I can't pronounce that name. Ryan Lee with Michael J. White and Bruce Campbell. In Black Friday. So that is pretty cool. I've actually been wanting to see this. And there we go. All right. Don't let the holidays eat you alive. On Thanksgiving night, a group of disgruntled toy store employees begrudgingly arrive for work to open the store at midnight for the busiest shopping day of the year. Meanwhile, an alien parasite crashes to Earth in a meteor. <laughs> uh, the, this group of misfits, led by store manager Jonathan, of course, is going to be Gr Bruce Campbell as the store manager, and longtime employee Ken, Devin Sawa, soon find themselves battling against hordes of holiday shoppers who have been turned into monstrous creatures hell-bent on a murderous rampage on Black Friday. Awesome. And I do not see any special features. And this is from Scream Media. Awesome. Right there. So, Black Friday. Awesome to have that in the collection. Next up. Got the, ooh, we got the Horror Pack Limited Edition, number 93. Getting close to that 100. Um, we have Craving. And that is really cool artwork right there. Pretty awesome. Trying to get as much glare as I can off of that, guys. Sorry about the glare. So yeah, that is pretty cool. And we got some really dark disc art. <laughs> the sheer amount of splatter is just all inspiring. All right. A group of drug addicts are besieged by a group of mysterious figures inside a royal bar. That's interesting. Taking place in a bar this time instead of a shopping mall. Uh, as withdrawal set, starts to set in, the patrons, staff, and a group of armed invaders inside a royal bar must identify the bloodthirsty psycho among them, among themselves before it is too late. Pretty cool. And special features. Audio commentary with director Jay Horton. Interviews with Kevin Caliber and Ashley Undercuffler. Cuffler, and theatrical trailer. Pretty awesome. And this is by Bronze Bridge Films and World One Productions. Awesome. I like getting these Horror Pack Limited Editions. Alright, next one has a slipcover. Ooh. <laughs> Alright, we got Ali Lauder, Ron Perlman, and Ralph Ensign. I've heard two of them. The Last Victim. No Bodies, No Convictions. So there we go. <coughs> and pretty much just the same stuff on the back. So let's take it slip cover off. All right. And open it up. Well, at least there's something on there. <laughs> All right. In this stylized neo-western thriller, a group of modern day outlaws and their terrifying leader are pursued by a local sheriff who is Ron Perlman. After committing a horrific crime in a desolate, wet southwestern town, when a professor and her, her husband cross paths with the criminals, 
Everyone is drawn into a spiral of violence and retribution where morality becomes ambiguous and survival is the only option. I'm seeing if there's any other big names in here. Nope, I don't see any. And one special feature, got a director's commentary. So, The Last Victim. Pretty cool to get a thriller in there. Of course, I really like Allie Lauder. She's a really good actress. <coughs> Sorry, guys. And last up, we have from writer Nick Cutter, executive producer, slash, <laughs> and director Rodrigo Gandino, Raven Banner releasing. Yep. Oh, and uh, if I forget, the last movie, The Last Victim, was released by, I'm guessing, Decal and Purse Partners. So, I've never heard any of them, so yeah. But yeah, from Raven Banner releasing, we have The Breach. And that is some really cool artwork here. Alright, and we got the back. <coughs> and then it looks like we have a, a steel. Pretty interesting. Alright. The horribly disfigured corpse of scientist Cole Parsons has washed up in a canoe and it's up to small town officer John Hawkins to head upriver to the victim's cabin and investigate. When John and his team arrive, they immediately start experiencing weird phenomena. Wasps everywhere, hideous drawings all over the house, and a machine in the attic that appears to be a gateway to another dimension. Wow, this sounds like something from, uh, from the movie From Beyond. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. However, all these discoveries pale in comparison when they come face to face with Cole Parsons, very much alive. But while he may look like Cole, there is an evil lurking within him that is spine-chilling. So now the team must get themselves out of this hell alive. That is, if Cole and his machine will let them. Cool. Special features, making of featurette, behind the scenes, filmmakers commentary, and trailers. And just like all Raven Banner releasing, they were made in Canada? So yeah, definitely can't wait to give this a try so that is the breach that is all for horror pack movies for March 2024 um, I'll leave a link to their website if you want to subscribe to them uh, they don't have DVDs anymore they do have only blu-rays uh, they did go up on their price so that'll be in the description as well and yeah I just want to thank y'all for watching these videos, supporting me. We will see you next month and treat each other with respect and, you know, and we will talk to you later. Bye, guys.